Are you thinking about being an RV owner? Want to see our beautiful country? Want to be part of the RV lifestyle? Do you want to learn more? Are you missing freedom? Do you want to travel? Do you want to explore? Then join us at RV Talk Radio. Proudly sponsored by RV Lock. Well, hello and welcome to RV Talk Radio. This is our holiday edition and we wanted to spend the time to say thank you to you. We have been overwhelmed with the great support we've been getting from our listeners. RV Talk Radio has been growing in leaps and bounds and I would not have happened without your support. Today we're going to have a short program since it's the holidays and Sherry and I have a life beyond the radio. But what we wanted to give you a hint about is next week's show, you'll want to be listening because we're going to give away another RV lock. So we'll tell you the details of how the contest is going to work, but listen carefully next week and we will announce everything. Today we launched a video that I thought was kind of clever. I was watching the internet the other day and we watched somebody show how to defrost your windshield using alcohol and water. So the ingredients are two-thirds of alcohol and one-third water and you put in a spray bottle. So we went out to our frozen truck and car and tested it. And if you go to RV Travel Buddy on YouTube, you'll see the video from that. But by gosh, it worked really well. So I highly suggest if you're still in a cold climate like we are, and you're finding frosty windows in the morning, just take your little squirt bottle and hit your windshield and it turns the water instantly. It's truly amazing and I recommend it for everybody. So getting back to our theme, I wanted to talk about being thankful. And Sherry and I, we had the opportunity to have our Thanksgiving dinner at a place called the Farmhouse up in Anacortes, Washington. And one of the things that we got out of the dinner, even though we were alone and our our kids are in different states, we had the opportunity to see a lot of people enjoying a Thanksgiving. But we also notice a lot of folks that are a lot older than us. And I couldn't help but notice how many walkers and wheelchairs we were seeing. And it got us to thinking, what are we thankful for? And when it pertains to the RV travel or RV industry, we question sometimes of whether we should do this RV adventure or not. And after having dinner last night and seeing how many folks whose health has declined, it kind of helped reassure us that we're making a good decision. Shortly, we will be having the opportunity to travel and we still have our health. And that's a lot to be thankful for. And I know there's people that listen to us that may not have their health. And they probably understand that, yep, you better be thankful. Sherry and I can get along around really well. We uh, could stand to lose a little weight and things, but uh, that's something we're working on for 2016. We'll tell you about that. But... I think the big thing I got out of Thanksgiving, and I think my wife did too, is we're thankful that we still have the opportunity to do the things that we do. And I hope that our listeners can take the time and realize how thankful they are if they're already RVers or have the opportunity to become an RVer. Another point I'd like to make 
is living in the United States. Now, recently our news has been insane between the ISIS and protesting and issues going on. But stop to think for a moment, especially as an RVer, the opportunities we have and still have and will continue to have being able to travel a gigantic country, the freedom to do that, and the wonderful places we have in the United States. So it's really easy to get caught up in all the politics and the news and the problems overseas. But if we could all just take the time, take a deep breath, and ask ourselves, what are we thankful for? We should be very thankful that we are a United States citizen. And the last thing I want to talk about is getting back to the primary subject is you. Sherry and I, we are very grateful for you listening to our show. The support we've gotten for RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest and all of our affiliate websites has been wonderful. We thank you all for liking our videos and sharing our videos and also listening to our podcast. It's been important to us because we put a lot of work into that and you told us we're doing a good job and we'll continue to do even a better job as we grow. So on this holiday, we're going to keep our show short. We're grateful for everything we have, our health, and most of all, you, our listener. Thank you and have a great day. And like we like to say over here, what are you waiting for? Bye now.